Oh, okay. So I feel like I've just opened an X-rated magazine. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for tuning in. Today I'm gonna to be talking about this beauty. I bought this two days ago and I haven't opened it because I wanted to show you my reactions to it. This is the new Pinch of Nom recipe book. So for those of you that are following the Slim and Well plan, you'll probably know all about this because we have been waiting for this book for months. But anyway, now it's here. I didn't pre-order mine, I bought mine in Asda and as you, you can see in the corner it says it comes with two, uh, 10 extra recipes. So we'll see what they are. So I'm just going to go through it. First of all, my impressions are that it's quite big, it's quite thick, which is good. This only cost me £10, it was half price. Um, I think if you buy it online from Pinch of Nom directly, it's £20. Um, but for £10, that's a lot of recipes, so that's a good sized book. Inside, it's very, very colourful. Love, love, love it. Quotes from fans, there you go, that's what it is, quotes from fans. And we've got this beautiful content page. Oh, it's from good categories. We've got introduction, breakfast, fakeaways, quick meals, stews and soups, bakes and roasts, snacks and sides, and sweet treats. So in the introduction, we've just got a bit of a story about Pinch of Nom and how they came about. I love this page. This page says, healthy recipes that we all want to eat. Nom, 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 nom. It looks like what they've done here is they've split their recipes into different categories. They've got everyday light recipes, which they say are those recipes that you can have at any time. They're easy on the calories, filling and perfect for every day. Weekly indulgence, which they describe as these are recipes that you can add to your weekly meal plans but have one or two ingredients that make them slightly more indulgent. They've got special occasion category, which is our special occasion recipes. Have your back. Lower in calories than regular desserts, snacks or treats. This section still comes out top against high calorie versions. So, then they've got over the pages got their key ingredients. Now I really like this. It tells you proteins, herbs and spices, low fat dairy, stock pots and stock cubes, Everything, lemons and limes, eggs, low calorie sprays. It talks about each individual one. And then over the page, we've got essential kit, which is similar to the last page about ingredients, but this is about what kitchenware you're gonna need. So they've got things like non-stick pans, a fine grater. Oh, so if you watched my recent video about my, my top 10 tips on Slimming World, you'll know that one of my tips was to use the fine grater when you're grating cheese because it goes so much further. Well, clearly Pinch of Norm also abide by that rule because they've got a whole section here about using the fine grater. It says, around 45 grams of cheese, for example, can easily cover an oven dish when using a fine grater. It's much easier to keep calories down and make your cheese go further. It also says ramekins are an essential kit. Now ramekins are really good for Slimming World desserts because desserts are hard when you're dieting. The only real healthy option you can have is things like fruit and yogurt, and that's boring. So on Slimming World, you can make lots of different desserts, but they tend to be quite high in sins and they're full of not free food, not fruit and vegetables. So making them in ramekins means that you keep your portion sizes small. And this is where we start our recipes. Chapter one is breakfast. Maple and bacon French toast with fruit. How good does that look? This book is so motivating. Scattered throughout it, I'm still in the middle of the breakfast recipes, but scattered throughout it are pages like this that just stand out. This one says, made the hash browns and they were truly delicious. And that's a customer testimony. I'm assuming she means these hash browns. And then over the page, I'm hoping there is the recipe for the hash browns. It's even got tips in the corner of, each, of some of the recipes. Lemon and blueberry baked oats. That's what it looks like. 
and then we turn over the pan and that's what it looks like once you've eaten it. So then we go on to chapter two, which is takeaways. And in this section, we've got all the sorts of foods that you would get from a takeaway. We've got tandoori chicken kebabs. We've got lots and lots of different types of curries. Chinese stir fries. Oh, Chinese chicken satay. We've got American dishes, a Philly cheese steak. That looks Lots of different chicken curries, Mexican things. We've got tacos, biryanis. This looks really nice. Cheeseburger pizza. Mm. After the fake way section, we go on to chapter three, which is quick meals. It says no cook. So that's good to help you out you're in a rush. Pizza stuffed chicken, I've made this a lot. This was one of the first Slimming World meals that I ever made and I make it a lot because mm, it's good. So yeah, in this quick, quick meal section, we've got lots of easy things. They're very, very quick. A lot of them are no cook. Um, and even those that are cook are very, very quick. 20 minutes. 20 minutes, this one's 25 minutes. Oh, shakshuka. So this is one of my breakfast staples. I make this all the time, all the time. I can't make it when I'm going out to work early in the morning because it is a little bit time consuming. Um, it says 25 minutes, but whenever I make it, it seems to take longer than that. But when I'm at home, I'll make this for breakfast very often because it's absolutely full of vegetables. It's completely carb free. If you want to add some carbs to it, if you get hungry in the morning, you can just cook up some sliced potatoes or cube potatoes. And what it is, is it's basically a dish with just cooked vegetables, onions, tomatoes, peppers, and you mix it around with a sauce. You can put like tomato puree in it, some spices in it, some cayenne chili pepper, and then you make four wells, drop four eggs in the four wells, I sprinkle a little bit of cheese over the top and stick it in the oven. Chapter four is all about stews and soups. I'm not a big soup lover because I get a bit bored after a few spoonfuls, but stews I can get on board with. So in here we've got things like vegetable tagine, we've got campfire stew, we've got Cuban beef. Oh, Cuban beef looks really nice. Oh, goulash. Beef in red wine with shallots. Mmm, my goodness. Chapter five is all about bakes and roasts. Hunter's chicken, potato, bacon, onion, and potato bake. These are really good. Buffalo skins, sloppy joes, they're like stuffed peppers. I like stuffed peppers, so that'd be nice. Um, everything seems quite quick to make. I know they've got a whole section on like quicker meals, but even in this section, I mean, the, the sloppy joes take 25 minutes. Pork on balsamic lentils takes 30 minutes. Yorkshire pudding wrap, 10 minutes. That's amazing. That's really good. Rumble to thumb. I don't know what that is. It says, when we asked our fantastic taste testers to review this recipe, the most asked question was, but what is rumble de thumbs? Mostly heard of up north, it's a Scottish version of the Irish cold cannon or the English bubble and squeak. Why is it called rumble de thumbs in this book? Because we're northerners, of course. I did not know that, but I love bubble and squeak. So I will probably try that one. That's good. Okay, chicken parmigiana. Ooh, chicken parmigiana. This is full of amazing recipes. And there's a real mix of recipes in here. Most recipe books you buy, the recipes are of a similar theme or a similar cuisine. So you'll get a curry recipe book or desserts recipe book. This has a real mix of everything in from like quick meals, soups and stews. It's got all the fake away type things, but also it's got your home cooked Foods. It's got all different cuisines, 
um, Mexican, Italian, Indian, Chinese, oh, soy and ginger salmon fish cakes. Yeah, it's, it's got a real, real mix. Okay, chapter six, snacks and sides. They even show you how to make your own gravy. So there really is no excuse. Chip shop curry sauce, halloumi fries, chips and dips, ch cheese twists. Mmm. They remind me of going on a picnic. You buy the pack of them and they're really fat. Amazing. Oh, okay. So the cheese twists. They've even decided to give you a step-by-step -step guide of how to do it with pictures. So, that's nice. Tuna scotch eggs, <clears throat> cheesy garlic bread. Yeah, okay, there's loads. Chapter seven, sweet treats. Chocolate eclairs, look at those. Pina colada baked rice pudding. Before I go on to the bonus recipes, because there's a chapter 8 bonus recipes which comes with the Asda edition, I just want to say, Pinch of Nom aren't affiliated with Slimming World in any way, but their recipes are very, very Slimming World friendly. And to be honest, most diet recipes can be Slimming World recipe. If you're ever looking for a particular thing to eat for dinner, just Google it and just Google a healthy version and you'll find a recipe that isn't necessarily Slimming World, but you can check the ingredients and most of the ingredients will be free or very low sin and you can sin them. Now, on the Pinch of Nom website, they, I believe that Pinch of Nom do list their sin values, but I don't think they were allowed to publish them in the book for copyright reasons. So there are no sin values throughout any of these recipes. But if you go online, Already, the book has only been out for a, a few days and already people have made lists of all of the recipes in the book and told you the exact sin values of all of them. Or you can just get some post-its, which is what I plan on doing. Get some post-its and stick on every single page how many sins are in there in the recipe and where the sins have come from. Bonus recipes. These come from the fact that this is an Asda edition book. Onion and chive, potato waffles, baba ganoush, rosemary and garlic shoestring fries, mm. nickel buckle glory. On the back page it says, thanks to all the pinch of nom taste testers. And there is just a whole bunch of names. But yeah, so that is the whole book. I really like it, it's quite heavy. Um, but it's very, very substantial and it's a really good all-round recipe book that's got a range of different recipes in which will really keep you going with your weight loss. So I would recommend buying this. Even if you're not dieting, I would recommend buying this because the food in here looks so nice. Just so you know, I'm not affiliated with Pinch of Nom or Slimming World in any way other than the fact that I go to a Slimming World group and I'm a member and I go on the Pinch of Nom website and I make their recipes. But this is not an advertisement in any way. I just love their recipes and I and I know that a lot of people are raving about this book at the minute. So I wanted to show you what I thought of it. And if you haven't bought it yet, hopefully this quick walkthrough of the book has shown you what it's got to offer. So now you can decide whether or not you want to go and buy it. I really hope that you found this video useful and it's been interesting for you. If you've got the book and you've tried any of the recipes, let me know which ones to try it because I am spoilt for choice. I don't know where to start, really. So let me know what ones you've started with, let me know what ones you've really liked and I will try and make them. As always, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'm really, really grateful every single time you tune in. See you all soon.